Hi, welcome to Moldova Pavilion. My name is Olga. I'm a guide here and I'm representing Moldova here. And this is a pretty cool thing to do. It's a virtual reality about a Moldovan astronaut who's coming back to Earth. And it's also the first from Eastern Europe. It has many, many awards. Also, it is in the 50 virtual reality experiences from the top of the Forbes. So you should try it. And uh, uh, yeah. who's developed this? Uh, this is by a company named Simples, and the producer is Dmitry Voloshin. All right. Was it good? <laughs> it was good. All right. So what do people come and see when they come here? So when they come here, we have the music section, and all of these are <laughs> in our national orchestra. This is called Sambal. It's from the 16th century, and I can actually show you how to play it. So I'm not a musician, please no expectation from me. I'll just show you how to do it. So you put your thumbs inside and you play with the soft point. But I also have a magic pedal and now when I press it, it goes there, those yeah. thumbs up and it will sound like I, I can actually play. Wow, it's like jazz. It is. It's like insides of a piano, actually. All right. And uh, a this bunch is, of other instruments? Yes, this is called Kobza. It has eight strings. I know Arabian people have something similar. It's called Oud. They have five strings. And this is some ancient drums. We call it Toba. All right. And do you have uh, like the whole orchestra playing here at the show? Uh, maybe at 3rd of March when it's uh, our national day, so right. you can come and join us. All right. And w uh, let's, where, where, would, where should we go? Uh, let's go to the beginning so I can yeah. introduce you <laughs> how we greet people. So whenever you're coming to our pavilion, you'll see this. So this is a very friendly way to say hi to you, and it's pronounced Norok. Norok also means luck, so every time we're greeting you, we're wishing you luck as well. And here on this carpet, it's our uh, logo brand. It's called the Tree of Life. And everything here has a signification specifically for our country. And I will tell you just a few so you will know that it's specific for Moldova. So you see the red rose right there. It represents love, family and friendship. You see the next one, two Wi-Fi signs, which represents connectivity, because it is said that Moldova has the best internet in Europe. Is it real? It is. Because you have, how are fast so, is the internet at your home? It's like 5G, I don't know, it's flying. <laughs> you know how it is here in Dubai? Well, ours, it's, it's amazing. You should come and visit and try. So when I want to upload my 4K videos, it's no problem? No problem. Like Everybody this. in the whole country or yes, not really? Yes, because we are a petite country, <laughs> like Sm a boutique country. So we're not that uh, large. So that's why the connectivity is so good. W and Without getting into politics, yeah. but uh, 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 it's thanks to somebody who kind of like said that it was important, right? To get good internet. Like one of the politicians said, let's do it, like a priority. Uh, I think it is uh, a lot of companies, IT companies are coming to our country uh, to test them. Because it's a very small territory and you can test them very quickly. How, how, um, how, uh, what's the status for Moldova? Are you part of the EU joining soon? What's happening? Uh, I think we're on our way to join it, but we do have a lot of uh, facilities and um, even geographically how we are uh, positioned. So we are near Romania, which is already in the European Union. And we have a lot of facilities. We don't need visas to go to Europe. Uh, and I think a lot of uh, agreements, like the commercial agreements are in place. So you but can easily export. For example, export. Ukraine is not yet. And is not, not yet. but Moldova will join first? Uh, well, uh, Purely politically, it should join first because it's near to Europe, but maybe then Ukraine will join. All right. And uh, how's the economy? Is it like growing? Yes, it is growing actually right now. So. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'll keep pushing around. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, let, uh, let, let's let's go have a look behind here. What's going on over here? Uh, this what's this is, video about? This is about our food, 
And this is one of the desserts that I really like. It's called Chisinau Desare. It translates evening Chisinau. Chisinau is our capital. And it's a dried plum and it's boiled in red wine. And inside there is a walnut. And you can serve it with sour cream and chocolate sprouts. It's amazing. It just melts in your mouth. <laughs> nice. And uh, how much it cost? Oh my God. Kind of, approximately. Yeah. And it's Moldovan dollars, so what do you call it? Uh, we have our own currency. It's Moldovan lei. And lei means lions. So it's like Moldovan lions. <laughs> and, and how much it costs? That's a really good question. <laughs> not expensive. Not expensive at all. Yeah. Really affordable. All right. What is the design happening here? So because we are an agricultural country, we do grow a lot of fruits and vegetables. They're all bio and organic by default. So we export a lot of apples, plums. And actually a fun fact, in uh, the world, there is only 7% of the territory that is suitable to grow walnuts. And Moldova, all the territory is in this 7%. So we are representing the 6% of the worldwide export of walnuts. And uh, uh, I see a bunch of stuff about wine around here. Yes, so we are known also as a wine country. And uh, actually... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Actually what? Sorry. So the highest density in the world of vineyards per capita is Moldova. Is this to do with the wine? This is ceramic. So this is black ceramic. It's a specific uh, firing process. And that is the white ceramic. It's mostly for decoration. Also, you can see the usual ceramic. And actually, in this region, we found uh, the civilization 6,000 years ago that were using ceramic. And till nowadays, this region is producing ceramic as well. And uh, Moldova, Shizi now has very good connection with the Wizz Air, Ryanair, yes. everything, right? Uh, well, not Ryanair yet, but Wizz Air, yes. And we actually had uh, flights from Abu Dhabi to Chisinau, direct flights. Wow. Yes, they just ended, but they will re be renewed, hopefully, on 29th of March. And That's it's a good way to connect to the whole world, right? Exactly. To Abu Dhabi. And from Chisinau, you can fly anywhere, one, two hours. So there is one hour to Istanbul, two hours to Frankfurt, two hours to Italy, three hours to Barcelona. You can connect with anything. And I, is it true that it's affordable place to visit? It is very affordable. Uh, How yeah. affordable, you would say? Well, more affordable than whole Europe. <laughs> so, oh, yeah? Yeah. So uh, you can get to do a lot of stuff with your budget when you go there to visit. Of course, yes. You can try our best food and also <laughs> combine yeah. it with some wine. <laughs> All right. Let's go behind here. Sure. Uh, so here's a hat. Hat. And this is our traditional clothing. And you can try it in our pavilion and become a true Moldovan. A true Moldovan. Yes, yeah. have yeah. some superpowers and become a true Moldovan. And All about right. our clothing. So this is our traditional clothing. This is how you can make the wool. <laughs> and this is traditional garments. They're called opinch. It's from leather. This is called traista the bag and these are the ornaments that we're using on our traditional wearings and this is called Iya you know Ukrainian nice. have Veshvanka we have Iya and for us it's like a metaphor of the body and this is the traditional one and we brought also the modern interpretation of it and this is for the man it's called Kushma and it's a traditional shepherd wool hat so it's to make her. me look like I have hair a little bit or not? Uh, maybe, not, not. maybe like just a little bit because little it's bit. cold. It can get cold in our country. Yeah. So there are four seasons. Four seasons. And this is the investment corner. <laughs> All right. Reasons to invest. There are yes. few. Yes. There are reasons to invest. There is also investment platforms. And I just want to talk to you about something interesting that I found out myself <laughs> about my country. So we created this IT park and we lowered the taxes on the sale revenue for 6 7%. And from 2019, we opened up 145 companies from 34 countries. And you can imagine how much our government <laughs> has it about so, the taxes. Uh, that's, that's, um uh, tax on 
company's yes. profits. Yes, on the sales revenue, exactly. All right. Uh, so all these companies can be like people internationally yes, who want to open. come? Of course, but of course there is a process of eligibility. So you need to do certain things and be a certain company. It's not like you open a company and put it in the Moldova IT part. All right. So this is what I was telling you about the 7% in the world of territory that is suitable yeah. to grow walnuts. And these are the things... <laughs> Monthly salary is yes. growing? It is growing year by year. Yeah. And... Um, all right. These are the things that you can invest in Moldova. So fashion manufacturing industry, creative industry, automotive industry. The What's happened with the automotive? So uh, we are making a small pieces for export for the automotive machines. But also if you are into anime and manga. <laughs> Any what, sorry? Anime. Anime. Okay. Ah, the, and uh, like uh, cartoons. Yes, cartoons. So we actually have a pretty cool platform. It's like a Netflix for anime and manga. And a lot of people from China and Japan were so surprised to find out that Crunchyroll, it's Moldovan. <laughs> and they were asking me about the, was I in this office? And I actually was there. <laughs> and it's pretty amazing how international it is. And I never knew about Crunchyroll before. I mean, I just knew about the office and it's an IT company, but apparently it's very big into anime and manga life. So does that mean uh, there's actually artists creating the cartoons? In it's the platform. It's, like it's a platform for cartoons, yes. but it's yes. not like drawing the cartoons no. and everything. All right. And of course, the agri-food. So we are producing a lot of fruits and vegetables. We are exporting a lot of apples, plums and dried fruits. So basically 46 percent of the export from Moldova it's agri-food. All right. Uh, how's it been the show for you? The expo is getting busy? Of course, yes. I think every day it's getting busier and busier, but uh, the people are very curious to find out about Moldova, so I'm very happy to tell them about our country and for them also to fall in love with it.